Okay, we're gonna see if this works. I had the carbon dioxide laser by Dr. Cotter on Friday. Today is Sunday. I'm doing the CO2 lift. And basically I'm gonna be mixing these two parts together. I've already put the first part in. This is the second part. And it just squeezes in. I'm mixing two parts and what that does is it activates and this mask, this CO2 lift mask that I'll be putting on is meant to soothe the skin and improve oxygenation to the tissue. And by doing that, uh, it'll heal faster and look better. So let's see. Okay, so here it is. These are the two parts of the CO2 lift mask mixed together. It makes a paste. And then you're supposed to mix it up for a minute, which doesn't make for exciting video, but that's what it does. You want it one consistency. My face is a little burny right now. It feels really warm. I'm a, revising all of my protocols now for the CO2 laser after having had the procedure done myself. I think having a really good moisturizer is helpful. I think that the um, Aveen water spray has been a really nice uh, treatment. And I've also been doing the light stim for pain, which I think helps. Uh, today I'm headed into the office. I'm gonna take some um, Arnica with bromelain. I'm gonna see if that helps because uh, Arnica is a uh, is an extract from uh, I believe it's a chrysanthemum plant I could be wrong and bromelain is from pineapple and both of those have been shown to improve bruising and wound healing uh, I'm going to try that and like I said this mask now I've been stirring it for a minute and I'm going to apply the mask you're supposed to apply it in a thick manner you're supposed to leave it on for 40 minutes let's see how it goes it's really cool on the skin. So when you put it on, you can immediately feel the cooling. And having had the CO2, the CO2 laser, uh, it burns. My face has been, you know, it's an open wound, a second degree burn. And it just feels terrible. But the mask is really nice. It's cooling. Uh, it feels just fantastic. And uh, this is, when we do the, the treatment in the office, what we're gonna do with the new protocol is we're gonna do hydrofacial beforehand because when I was at the hydrofacial meeting with Dr. Paul Nassif, he says that before he does any nose jobs, he'll do a hydrofacial, it hydrates the skin. And I found that you know my skin was really well hydrated uh, after I did the um, hydrofacial. I also did, a Cyton BBL treatment right after I did the hydrofacial. And the benefit to that is that the Cyton BBL is really good for brown spots and redness. And I thought that it would be good to get rid of my brown spots because the CO2 laser is good for fine lines and wrinkles. Um, not so much for brown discoloration, although we are using it for people who've had, for instance, a, a tattoo removal laser and the tattoo isn't going away. But we're doing the, we'll do the hydrofacial, we'll do a Cyton BBL, and then a CO2 laser like I had for the fine lines and wrinkles. But we're gonna do a CO2 lift prior to uh, the CO2 laser the day of the procedure. When we put the numbing cream on, we'll put the CO2 lift on top. And then after the procedure, we'll put the CO2 lift on top of it. I like doing my, my CO2 lasers with, um, PRP. Uh, I, I didn't get the PRP this time uh, just because of a time factor. I was in clinic. It was impossible. And like I said, this feels super cool and my face has been feeling really warm, which isn't uh, comfortable. I've taken some ibuprofen for pain and that has helped a little bit. Um, but the sprays and the topicals, I've been using the Bioderma topical, I've been using the Neocutis um, Bio, uh, 
I want to get the bio cream. We have that at the office, so I'm going to put that on today. But I've been using um, one of the Neocutis creams. I've been using the Elastin Nectar. Uh, my face feels gritty. Uh, that's what you feel with the laser because you can see the squares on my face, and that's where Dr. Cotter did the um, the treatment. There are squares because uh, the the machine fires in a, in a square pattern. You can alter the pattern to make rectangles or squares or octagons. Um, you can go fully ablative. We did not do that. Uh, you run the risk when you go fully ablative that you can uh, depigment the skin by destroying all the melanocytes. You're supposed to leave this on thick. And like, like I've said so many times, it really feels so good. So I'll be recommending this treatment and then people will take it home with them and they'll do it just like I'm doing an at home treatment of the CO2 lift mask. Uh, so we'll do the CO2 lift mask before you put on or after you put on your numbing cream, after you've had the procedure, you'll take, uh, you'll take one home. Maybe you'll even get, you know, three for each post-op day. Um, that'll be my recommendation for people. I know my friend, Dr. Jason Emmer, who's a dermatologist in Beverly Hills. When he does any procedure on people, he has a treatment regimen that basically they're either going to follow the regimen or they're not going to do the procedure with him, uh, which is really good for compliance. He's an innovator and a fantastic um, cosmetic physician, dermatologist. But having a treatment where uh, you do the treatment and you follow the proper regimen is going to give you better long-term results. And that's what we're going to you know, hopefully encourage our patients to get is the best result they could possibly get. I made Dr. Cotter go up into my scalp and not create a line. I wanted it to all to be blended. And it, he did a great job. Singed some hairs. That's the way it is. I should have shaved off the sideburns last time I teased him for not getting that area. I didn't do my eyelids this time. I've done my eyelids in the past uh, where you um, put in eye shields, but I had to give a lecture the, the day of my procedure. And even though I looked beat up, I didn't really care because I wanted the procedure done. And it feels uh, much nicer now, cooler. You can see that the CO2 lift, I'm just gonna get the rest of this put on. I don't wanna waste any of it. That's the deal. So this is me after putting on the CO2 lift mask.